just take it for a rip. It's like a full size dude. <laughs> back to the channel if you didn't know we got the mini jeep 110 uh china dirt bike 110 143 big board klx ttr 50 it's been up geared still haven't done a video on the up gear yet but we will uh the kazuma i already have a video out on how i wrap the seat for like two bucks and uh this video is basically just introducing the kazuma to the channel we've already had a kazuma 50 before i love these things um i've never seen anything do what this four-wheeler will do for being a 50cc. The Kazuma 50s, I, I believe it's like a submodel named Meerkat, come in like a 50 and then a 90 that's called a Falcon. I think they even do a 70, but they are very hard to find. I don't know where they were sold, if they were strictly retailers or what. I've never seen them for sale online, but it's been some time since they have not been for sale. So now they're just gems, diamonds in the rough. They are very rare and hard to find, especially in good shape and not like run down, left out in fields to rust, which is kind of what happened to mine. And then I took the motor off my Kazuma. I had to free up the piston rings and I threw it on the mini chopper that became a mini chopper build on the channel. You can see that video as well. But uh, this thing's a semi-automatic four-speed. And uh, we had one for like three years. I would, I would cut down trees and drag logs across the yard with this thing. I've gone through pretty big mud puddles with them that were like really muddy. So you could get stuck really easily. But I wasn't sucking up water in the intake by any means. And uh, I've gone up crazy hills. We pulled the wagons with these with multiple kids in the wagons. Like this thing will pull four kids in a wagon all day long, which is pretty impressive considering, again, it's just a 50cc. So I just wanted to uh, introduce this four-wheeler to the channel because we definitely did not cover our last Kazuma on the channel at all. And I got this one for like 100 bucks. The guy kind of fibbed and said it had a gas leak, which it did crack at the petcock. And I ended up getting a new one with a new tank anyway because like the piece that your gas cap threads onto those walls broke off and fell inside the gas tank, which is okay. That's normal for old parts. And then I ended up buying a replacement one for it before the tank took a dump, which ended up going on my son's 110 dirt bike because this one came with a, a pet cock already on it with the new tank since where the cap twists onto that wall in there, the, you know, the spout that it twists onto that the wall started breaking and falling in the tank. Um, yeah, the, the carburetor was complete toast. Like there was so much gunk in there and the jets were like rusted through. So there was no carb cleaning them out or anything like that. So I had to order like a PZ 16 carburetor from McCooney. I wanted a good carb on this one. I had to take the choke arm off the last carburetor and put it on this carburetor because it wouldn't clear like the frame rail and it wasn't bent properly to clear the intake when it's all the way down. So that was a mess inside itself. I've already put an LED on the front, which is a pretty big pod from Walmart, a twin kit you can buy for like 24 bucks. And my son Anthony got the other one on his, which his is on a switch that's fed by the wires that would charge a battery because it's kickstart as well. So he doesn't need a battery. He's a kid. He'll figure it out. He's got it going on so far. And actually to the same feed that the headlight bulb was wired to, I wired LEDs to, which is pretty cool. So the old bulb in there that was in a dome that sat here, which was just terrible. It didn't light up anything at all. Like that's to give you an idea of what the light was like. The bulb went bad. So I ended up taking the wire feed that's controlled right here. Thought it'd be kind of cool to keep all existing lights on a switch that's stock on the handlebar versus adding a new switch. Like the last Kazuma I had, I like cut a switch into right here. So I was like, you know what? If it still works, I want to keep the whole lighting assembly on the stock switch so i wired in the light to the bulb wire that was already there and then ran the leds as well to the bulb wire as well not yet it's in neutral so now it's got underglows as well as the led headlight but yeah, I just wanted to uh, do a video to introduce this. I mean, plastics have seen better days, but I can buy new ones. But knowing what this thing is going to go through, I'm not going to get them a new rear plastic anytime soon because it is functional. It does drive, and 
He's loving it so far. So in a second, drop a few videos of it riding around with the neons at night, which, you know, it just looks cool. So I figured I'd throw that one in there. And then my, uh, my second to oldest, Anthony, doing donuts on this one, just showing that these things can get down. And the donuts that you're about to see were only like 30% throttle because you can adjust the throttle up here, which is another thing I liked about this one. I got my son Bryson a 110cc like Spider-Man themed knockoff China quad. And it was really annoying because of the carburetor that was on it. It was either 10% throttle or like all throttle. There was no in between. It, it rattled a lot, which was really annoying. So I told my wife, I'm like, it's kind of big. I don't trust him being on it by himself because it's just way too powerful. Like that thing would do donuts on drive pavement. It was kind of powerful for a 110. But I was like, we need to find another Kazuma 50. Granted, you know, they don't just grow on trees. So I just kept my eyes out. And after about eight months, I found this one locally in another city about 40 minutes away and went and bought it. Because I know what this engine can do. I know how bulletproof they are. So having one with a bad motor is just impossible. So I knew the carburetor might need to be redone. And uh, I'm going to lube down the chain, aired up two tires. It needed a battery, which is like 16 bucks off Amazon. So you can't really go wrong. And I knew I could get this thing back up just because out of all the stuff we have, I'm just really good at swapping carburetors or finding the right size carburetor for the, the intake hole size measurements on the actual cylinder head. So I knew this thing would be kind of lickety split. And I actually got lucky. This, this battery was only 18 bucks, and it shows you the voltage on a digital screen, which... You don't see that battery every day, but it's already gone up like $5 since I bought it. But yeah, this is a Kazuma. I'm going to do another video on the wiring setup for the neons, and then we'll do the video for the neons all together. If you want to uh, see this thing in some more action, get some ideas, you want to see what it can do, comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. It helps out. helps get our analytics up. helps it make it uh, worth it to post the videos. And uh, I'll drop some of the videos of it uh, doing this thing. Make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Go! Oh, no! He's gapping him, dude! He's getting capsized! No! Oh, no! 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 Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! There he goes! Oh, he let him get the hit! He let him get the hit! He let him get the hit! Looks like a crop circle. Let's just take it for a rip. It's like a full size dude. Oh, yeah. Turn it through the gears again. We'll rev up a mutual. Oh yeah. <laughs> 